What up, everybody? This is your boy Tech G back with another video. And in this video, we are going to be talking about the features of a laptop. So in this video, you will learn about laptop features such as special function keys, docking stations, port replicators, laptop cable locks, and rotating removable screens. Special function keys. So modern laptop computers have special function keys built into the keyboard along with special controls for displays, wireless functions, volume, screen brightness, Bluetooth networking, and in some cases, keyboard backlighting. These keys provide all the functions of a desktop, but in significantly less space. Most laptop keyboards combine two functions on one key and the user presses the function key on the keyboard to toggle between functions. Function keys are usually printed below or beside the normal key legend and sometimes in a contrasting color. And here is a screenshot of a typical function keys on a laptop. They normally have the letters F written on them to indicate functions. And then you have the actual function button that you would press and then hold one of these keys down in order to engage in some type of action. So here are some typical function keys and other special function key features that you can find on most laptops. So you'll have a function key for dual displays, a function key for turning on and off your wireless or your cellular connection, volume settings, screen brightness, turning on and off the Bluetooth, turning on and off the keyboard backlight, the touchpad, screen orientation, media options for fast forwarding or rewinding. You could turn on and off the GPS or or you could turn on and off the airplane mode. Now, your laptop's documentation will provide a complete listing of all of the functions available for your specific device. Docking station. So laptops are portable computers for when you are not in the vicinity of a desktop computer. Docking stations for laptops are meant to bridge the gap between portability and having a stationary place to work and play. Most docking stations are produced by portable computer vendors. Business class laptops that support docking stations might feature a proprietary expansion bus on the rear or bottom of the computer. Docking stations expand the capability of portable laptops by adding features such as one or more expansion slots, additional input output ports such as Ethernet, display output ports for HDMI or display port, Thunderbolt ports, USB ports, and other things as well. In addition to that, you'll have typically a power connector and then you'll have some connectors for a standard keyboard and mouse to hook up to the docking station. And here is a picture of a typical laptop docking station. You would just sit the laptop on top of this and assuming you got your network cable plugged in and you got your other things plugged in, you should be good money out in these streets to get busy doing whatever it is that you planned on doing. Docking stations made for tablets or thin and light laptops might connect via a high speed bus such as Thunderbolt or USB 3.0 or 3.1 or via a proprietary charging data cable. Mobile devices running fifth generation or Intel Core V Pro business class processors with the Intel tri band wireless AC 172065 adapter. They now have wireless docking stations for mobile devices to connect to. And this is a picture of a wireless docking station, the front and the back of it. Now, regardless of how a portable computer connects to a docking station, users can leave desktop type peripherals connected to the docking station and can access them easily by simply connecting the portable computer to the docking station. Port replicator. A port replicator is a device used to quickly connect multiple peripherals to a laptop. A monitor, printer, network cable, keyboard, and mouse are permanently plugged into the port replicator, which connects to the laptop via the USB port. A port replicator provides some or all of the functionality of a docking station, and the two terms are often used interchangeably. However, a docking station uses a proprietary connector to the computer, whereas a port replicator typically provides a universal solution for all laptops via USB. B. And here is a picture of a standard laptop port replicator. You would just connect it via USB to the replicator and plug in all your other devices and you should be good money out in these streets. 
Laptop cable lock. So most laptops, in addition to mobile devices such as projectors and docking stations, feature security slots. The slot is normally located near the rear corner of the laptop. This slot is used with a laptop cable lock. These locks work just as a bicycle chain lock works. You would find a large immovable object such as a desk and wrap the metal cable around it. Insert the lock into your laptop's lock slot and your computer becomes virtually theft proof. Laptop locks come as either combination locks or they come as keyed locks. Rotating removable screen. So mobile devices with rotating removable screens bridge the gap between tablet and laptop. Devices with removable keyboards typically function as a large tablet. Many models have additional ports built into the keyboard. And finally, laptops with rotating screens usually have larger displays, more ports, and typically have more powerful processors. The display size and port availability of these devices rival those of conventional laptops, yet these devices are not intended to be easily upgradable. So that is our quick lesson. Now let's go ahead and get into some check on learning, shall we? So the first question is, which keyboard feature allows laptop manufacturers to reduce keyboard size and provide small form factor laptops? Would it be PS2? Would it be touch screen? Would it be function key? Or would it be F1. So which keyboard feature allows laptop manufacturers to reduce keyboard size and provide small form factor laptops? The correct answer is the function key, ladies and gentlemen. The function key is the correct answer. Question number two. Bill, a sales employee at your company, often takes his work laptop back and forth between home and the office. Each time he gets home after work, he has to set up his laptop all over again in his home office and connect several cords and cables just to get it working. Which solution could Bill use at his home office? Would it be dual displays? Would it be tablet? Would it be docking station? Or would it be smartphone so which one would help bill when he brings his laptop from the office to his house so he could just be ready to go the correct answer is a docking station all he would have to do is just quote unquote drop his laptop onto the docking station everything is already plugged in hit the power button he should be good to go Final question, Matt from sales is back from vacation, but he cannot find his laptop when he gets to the office. He says he left his laptop sitting on his desk, powered off and disconnected from the network. It appears the laptop has been stolen and you call your boss to give him the bad news. What may have prevented his laptop from being physically stolen? Would it be enabling a BIOS password? Would it be leaving the laptop under his desk? Would it be laptop cable lock or would it be turning it on airplane mode before leaving? So which one of these would have prevented his laptop from being stolen? The correct answer is a laptop cable lock. That would have helped prevent his laptop from being stolen. All right. So in summary, we have talked about laptop features such as special function keys, docking stations, port replicators, laptop cable locks, and rotating removable screens. Now, for more information about this to help you successfully pass the CompTIA A plus 220 1001 hardware exam, please visit my website, Technology G, for more information. But before you go, please hit the like, share, and subscribe, and also drop a comment below so we can read your thoughts on this material. But once again, Technology G is the website. Go visit it, subscribe, and all that great, wonderful stuff. And I will see you on the next video. Peace.